Z2 fins are the next generation of the original and patented zoomers fin. The Z2 fins are not a replacement for the original zoomers. Ideally, you'll have both the Z2 and zoomers in your swim bag because even though they share some of the same characteristics, they offer distinctly different training benefits. Swimmers should train with both Z2 and zoomers to maximize the unique benefits of each fin. Let's look at some of the similarities and differences between the two fins. Both the Z2 and zoomers have a smaller blade than traditional fins. The short blade encourages you to kick smaller and faster, and it allows you to train closer to an unassisted or natural state. A small, fast kick makes the legs work harder, but the short blade doesn't overload the muscles. Therefore, with Z2s and with zoomers, you can maintain a high level of intensity for a longer period of time. And this is one of the key principles for improving your cardiovascular fitness. With Z2s and with zoomers, you can practice swimming at or above race pace speeds all year long. With Z2s and with zoomers, you can do more sprint work without the high level of upper body stress that can accompany sprint training. Now for the differences. The Z2s are slightly longer than zoomers and a bit more narrow. This makes the Z2s easier to use than standard zoomers because they create immediate propulsion and generate greater force in both directions of the kick. The slightly longer and narrower shape of the Z2 offers superior ease of movement and comfort and allows swimmers of any ability to harness the full power of their legs in the water. If you look at the Z2 training fin from head on, you can see that the sides are curved down and on the top side of this fin is a narrow ridge of material called a fluid separator. The downward curve and the fluid separator make it easy for you to kick down with the foot. They channel excess water away from the top of the blade, thus reducing drag and allowing you to have a faster downward kick. If you look at the underside of the Z2, you can see two channels running along the outside edge. These vortex channel converters make the fin behave differently on the up kick than on the down kick. These channels cause the fin blades to bend easier on the downward kick and provide more resistance on the way back up. The curved edges, the fluid separator, the channels, and the holes in the blade all combine to eliminate the lag time between the movement of the foot and the action of the tip of the fin. The result is that the Z2 makes you feel as if you're kicking with just your feet, but they give you a whole lot more propulsion than your feet. The extra propulsion helps you achieve a higher body position and better body roll, which lets you train with better technique for longer periods of time. The best thing to do when you get the Z2s is to go swim. They are an exceptional training tool for freestyle where they can help you build a small, compact, quick and steady kick. The Z2s are also used in backstroke training where they help you build strength on the down kick as well as the up kick. And for butterfly, the Z2 is hands down the most valuable training tool on the market. The Z2 makes it easier to swim fly correctly and you can swim more fly without your stroke falling apart and with less risk of shoulder injury. But unlike most other fins, the Z2 doesn't give you so much help with your fly that you feel lost when you take them off. The unique combination of channels and curves eliminates lag time between foot action and fin action. Thus, the Z2 gives you a natural feel, but enough propulsion to maintain great technique. When your training calls for strength work and speed work that's almost unassisted, zoomers are the way to go. But if you're trying to generate speeds that are above race pace, or are looking to maintain high speed and great technique over longer distances, the Z2 should be your fin of choice. The Z2 is finesse technology at its finest.